right, I'm here. I'm tired. Really didn't help that one of my jackass neighbors shining their fucking headlights into my window at 4 a.m. I swear, everybody I live around is a fucking asshole. Glad I didn't stream yesterday because I, I was going to. And then the fucking... I assume they're contractors or something. Started throwing shit off the balcony above me again. Which, as far as I'm aware, is against regulation in the first place. Because it's dangerous, obviously. <sighs> yeah, honestly. But then I'd have to deal with, uh... Probably motherfuckers stomping on the spots above me. Still. It's like... It's not even neighbors this time. The lady that lived above me that flooded my apartment twice... Is not there anymore. What's going on is that I'm guessing it's happening every Thursday because it's two fucking weeks in a row now. Um, they have been tearing apart her apartment. Because they're renovating it. And all the ones that have been vacated that are still old are getting renovated. So in her case, since she flooded her entire fucking apartment, the uh, counters, the doors under the sink were so waterlogged, they were like twice the fucking size. And the only reason I saw that is because she insisted on inviting me in the second time they flooded my apartment. Because I couldn't get in contact with the motherfucking landlords because their goddamn emergency number had a um, answering machine that told me to call the emergency number. You know, the one I was literally calling. Thanks, jackasses. So I went up there myself. And then after I sat down, she delightfully told me that she had pneumonia. This was during the height of COVID. So either she was lying and had COVID, in which case, oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you? Or she was telling the truth and she had pneumonia, in which case, why the fuck would you ask me to come in? I don't want pneumonia either. I've had it. I don't want to do that again. Yeah. Yeah, and they charge $1,300 for a one-bedroom. Because they're fucking jackasses. And then they don't actually fix anything. There's still a hole in the goddamn hallway wall, by the way. After that fucking druggie punched the hole in it, I think, when he got arrested. Oh, hey, the kids are screaming in the hallway again. Are you fuckers supposed to be in school now? What the shit? Yeah, no, it, it sucks around here. Like, they charge way too much and then they don't fix anything. There's still a hole in my bathroom wall. The tap in the bathtub still leaks. I think the one in the kitchen might be leaking, but I may have just been imagining that. Bridge still leaks. There's a hole in the hallway wall. The contractors they hire are also garbage. They did a real shitty job of fixing the, uh... Fixing the lobby. The... The freaking... Oh my god, it just looks ugly. It, it's bad. And then they bought chairs that nobody who would actually need those chairs in the lobby can actually sit in. They're too low to the ground. And it, the thing is, the landlords, when I moved in, were fine. They were totally fine. In fact, they went above and beyond to accommodate me because the situation we got moved into was absolutely shitty. Because they essentially lost the um, document that even said I was being moved in at all. We were also given a date which th they shouldn't have actually authorized in the first place. Because what happened is my mom arranged for me to move in here. And then those people got fired because they were lying to the actual owners of the building. About a whole bunch of shit. The people that were in the, um... A lot of people that were in the one of the buildings were not registered as being in the building. They were making them pay in cash and then pocketing the money. So the landlords that took over for them were great. The problem is, one of them broke her hip. And so they couldn't run the place anymore. And now I got stuck with these shitheads. And now, the one I've been referring to as Real Estate Barbie. Because I think they swapped out again and never bothered to say anything. 
This I think they did because I literally there's like only one dude I, I recognize and he's a part of the maintenance team as far as I'm aware. But I have literally no idea who the landlords actually fucking are. But the uh the last time I saw any of them in the office, because they've also renovated the office, I had to turn in my uh, mailbox key for the new one. Just screams, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> she looked like a fucking Barbie doll slapped in the fucking office. That's all I'm gonna say. I was just like, I don't even know if she's still here. Because I think they were showing off an apartment the other day, and it was definitely not the same fucking person. <laughs> anyway. I had this running in the background. Playing Railbound today, because, like I said, I'm not feeling up to much, so we're just gonna do puzzle games. For a bit. And I don't remember what I did last on here, so this is gonna be, uh... Annoying, <laughs> to say the least. I also don't remember the controls, so that's even better! <laughs> okay. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I'll pick him up regardless, right? No, okay. I had to check that, because I wasn't quite sure how that was going to work. Oh, I can take pieces that are already set down. Huh. Hmm. That's gonna go that way regardless. Oh, don't pick all of them up. Uh, the objective is to get the train cars to uh, attach to the engine in order and while picking up any passengers. So... This one shows one. This car has to pick him up. Which also means there's a, there's a delay. And the cars can crash into each other. Which is always fun. Now that'll put him in a loop. This will be funny, but not helpful. So most of the controls are just like, place tile, set direction. But I left this off with a bunch of puzzles just hanging open, and I don't know what most of them are. Also, there's switches, just to be a real dick about it. I'm trying to figure out... Okay. I'm trying to figure out timing here. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so 
But uh, this number here shows how many tiles I have. All the switches are colored, so you know exactly what it is they're doing, specifically. They can also control gates like this one does. So if I'm I'm not careful, it'll bump the gate instead. <laughs> okay. Don't do that. That doesn't even buy enough time because it it has to stop to grab the passenger. So that doesn't give it enough time to actually not run into each other. That sends you up if I do that. Okay. Ah, it just crashes into each other if I do it that one. the solution might be sending this back around, but then I have to get the two behind it, somehow. Without completely fucking up. That's too short, though. That causes the button to get hit again. on. All right, because it just sends it back around. Which makes me think I have to, like, loop it through the back somehow. <laughs> yeah, that does weird things.
Also, some of the actual solutions to these require extremely short margins, which is insane. This has to exist regardless, because otherwise I can't get in here. Right, they considered the gates. I forgot about that. They don't crash into the gates, they just chill. <laughs> no caps lock, the bot doesn't like it. The fuck is this icon? Switch as well? Oh, I can't edit anything that's a darker color like this. Just like, as another side note, it doesn't work. somehow. if I do it that way. Holy abomination. Oh, very good fucking question.
Oh, fuck's sake. I did not do as good of a job as cleaning this container as I did. Cleaned the inside just fine. Apparently, I did not clean the outside very well. Oh. Oh, this one's stupid. So in order to get to the actual engine, I have to go through the tunnel. Which means I have to get three out of the way. Which means three has to go somewhere. <laughs> I do not have that many fucking tiles to work with. Clicking's going. Also, if there is no tiles I can pick up. It is eight tiles, and that is all I have. No, that sent three in the wrong way. It is getting the trains through the tunnels, though, without colliding. Hey, what is this gonna do? Put them in an infinite loop. Neat! I'm impressed that's working without crashing. Cause three to crash. Yo, there it is. Okay, that, that's all I had to do. I had to tweak one turn.
So we've got two door switches plus the rail switches. Do this. Hold on. What are they gonna do? Just go straight into each other. Okay. It was worth checking. I latch these two together. Got another tunnel. much of anything, but... Actually, let's see what it actually specifically does. Yeah, now it just traps the uh, one in a infinite loop. So fucking convoluted. <laughs> okay. What is this shit? Why do these gotta go around a circle for a bit? Cause uh otherwise it's gonna they're just gonna crash right in the fucking middle. I think just cause them to crash. Or not. So I think that's the solution for... for one. It's not the solution for two. I 
Actually, the first thing these two, if I leave it like this, is they hit the buttons, which swaps the paths, but also keeps them from colliding. At least, initially. We have passengers now. And in very bad spots, because, uh, no, the one can go there. Oh, so one's gonna try to turn immediately. The way that hit the way that's done. That doesn't give me enough tiles. One will skip the two slot as it's going through. But something has to hit this. one through two would work since it just ignores it but I don't have enough tiles to do that what does this button do I think that speeds it up possibly I have absolutely no change this tile in any way, shape, or form. And they can't jump tracks. Much as I kind of wish they could, they can't. Let's close that on for now. Of course, I'm on the on the like last two. Let's, let's get a look at some of these other ones. <laughs> what is this nonsense? work with this.
Cause that's some bullshit. Do I just not? Do I just ignore it? What the fuck? for a bit. Ugh. Granted, these are the challenge levels, so I'm not surprised they're difficult, but what the fuck is even going on with that one? Also doesn't tell me how to actually attach them on the ends. There we go. I think. <clears throat> Got it! <laughs> oh, this is even worse! The fuck? Yeah, they get really close to crashing on that one. So it's just like, what the fuck is even going on half the time? way there eventually. Funny, I'm finding the harder ones slightly easier. But then again, you could just fuck around and eventually something pops up. This is unholy abomination.
Hey. Nobody would ever rail run rail line like this, goddammit. Not in a million years. in, but in the wrong order. Oh, hello. I thought I had it. this one down for now because this one's one of the uh as fun as it is getting the car stuck in a loop and crashing uh that for a bit what is this nonsense of I do it this way.
the fuck? Yeah, no, some of these are uh, a little much. Oh, come the fuck on now. It's only one car, too. If I do that and it runs it back through twice, it's gonna fuck me over. But it can run through the blue one twice. As long as I do it like this, it runs back here. more like it. Oh, fuck off. The fuck do I do here? That would send two straight to the goal, which we don't want. No, I don't know how they keep losing their fucking rail cars. If I do that, it sends two off to the side without its passenger. If I do this, they crash. Granted, crashed on a delay. I'm out of tiles if I do this. I think this is it? Yes, it is. Oh, side note, they also apparently recently added puzzles for their one year anniversary, so, uh... I think that's what all the colors are back here. Uh, shit? Is 
is this? Is this supposed to be a caboose? Yeah, that crashes. What the fuck? I have three tiles to work with. I can't take anything else. supposed to do here hold on it's irrelevant it's junk okay so I just have to get this fucker out of the way Piece of the train. I thought it had to be attached. No, it's just a piece of crap. But it's a piece of crap that can hit buttons. going the other way. I'm dumb. Oh, problem. It has to hit the red switch again. two of them. are looped together. That's interesting. out of this one and see what some of the others look like. I know I've been unlocking side puzzles. That's a dead end, but I have to hit it. have to go into like a loop or something. A temp loop because 
Because if they stay in a permanent loop, I'm screwed. One has to go into a loop, for sure, because I don't know how else to do this. <laughs> then how do I get to... Hmm. What is this? What's it? It is. I gotta, I gotta remember, that could be really close to crashing and not actually crash. Okay, that puts it in the loop. That counts as a crash, lame. Lame. Fuck you. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah. this one's weird, and I can't loop them back this way. I'm gonna put that one down. Oh, what the unholy hell is this? What am I supposed to do here? So if I leave it as is, it hits the button, and those three just crash. Can't edit most of these, so the only spots I can join this in are here. Uh, 
And that counts as a crash. Connected the trolley to... Oh, there was an achievement for doing that. Huh. There was an achievement for fucking it all up. Also, it gives me a lot more tiles. Makes me think I have to bait these into the wrong spot. Uh, she's gonna send another one into the crash pile. Okay. Fuck that for a bit. Oh, what's that shit? Okay, it wasn't this one. Oh, fuck this. Car, but it doesn't do me any good otherwise. <sighs> All right, let's look at this gun. All oh, right, it saved my pieces. Just go do something else for a bit. Oh, there's a lot of pre-made on this stuff. Okay. That'll send straight to the end. But it'll also take the uh, yellow and gray car with it.
I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> did I leave any of the... I did leave a bunch of uh, extra puzzles everywhere. How did I do that? Okay, what it's originally set to do is just gonna crash everything. Let's make it worse! Seriously, what was I supposed to do here? Wrong order, though. has to go so far around. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get two in there. If I send it around like this, it's in the wrong order. aren't set. Oh, that one's really easy. What the fuck? What is this unholy abomination? Basically, it's the same thing. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Ah, fuck this one. Excuse the fuck out of me. What is this?
I'm so confused. There's so many just like weird side panels on this one. No, technically, you don't have to. Okay, that does speed it up. achievement for doing that on one of the stages possibly not using all the track actually I have to check hold on uh, all the base levels make two cars crash in the middle of a tunnel these are just the ones I have connected at least three cars in the wrong order <laughs> so there's there's just straight up achievements for fucking up Solved a level without placing all available rail for a puzzle with no pre-placed removable rails. Actually, there's multiple of those achievements. Solve three without uh, using all the rails. It's a hidden achievement for some reason. And there's achievements for completing every single level. Not just the base ones. Okay, World 8 straight up locked until I do World 7. Hell is, what do I swap to? Because, like, today was one of those days where I'm just like, what the fuck do I do? Which is kind of why I was playing Railbound. Because I didn't want to play Other Side, I didn't want to play Labyrinth of Refrain. There's nothing to really do on 14 until, um, Weekly Reset comes up again and either PvP season progresses or, um, or the Manderville stuff updates. So I'm just kind of stuck there. Like, I could gather, but that's about it, and I didn't really think that'd be that interesting. Um, I could play in Bento, but that was also kicking my ass. <coughs> oh, right. I still have Wild Frost, but I don't know if they updated the fucker. You guys actually balanced the shit out of it because that was the biggest complaint. Book 2 hasn't updated, so there's no new puzzles. <coughs> I have to get more to drink, too. Ugh. is I'm gonna go get another drink because I clearly have just dried my throat out. It doesn't help that I only had like half of my half of my drink left by the time I started because I was kind of at an impasse of whether or not I was gonna stream at all. But that'll allow me to leave some kind of sound up if I do that. Ow! Hey! Fine! I have to go get... Actually, wait. Ah, no. I still had some of my water from my workout this morning. But yeah, no, I'm gonna go. I gotta go get more gamer subs. Maybe finish off that container of black cherry since I ordered more today. But yeah, um I know I gotta run some ads. I'll be right back. I have absolutely no idea what any of that is supposed to be, dude. Huh. <sighs> What the fuck? What the hell 
is that shit? <laughs> okay, what the fuck am I doing next? Um... I guess we could swap to Invento, but it's gonna kick my ass. So we got to the really hard levels. But it's another puzzle game, at least. Um, I can turn this off. Let's exit game. Turn on Invento. Swap my information. I still wish it was in OBS, but everything got fucked up. I have to swap something really quick. Where is it? There it is. Gonna load? You're gonna be nice about this? Yes, you are. Okay. Um, there we go. So, yeah, I, I got to the point where this game was finally kicking my ass in a big way. I still got quite a few levels. Everything that has this red mark on it is 100% done. So the goal to this one is to get this in the middle to match this on the side. Oh, you cannot see my cursor. Hold on. This was set specifically. Capture cursor. There we go. You have to get the the uh, box in the middle to match the edge. You have either food blocks or blocks that cause movement or flip things or pick things up. So it's, it's just, it's more or, oops, I also have to move, there we go. <laughs> It's, it's all order of operations. You just have to get the end result. Hmm. And, oh, I can flip these. Right, okay. If I move things down, it deletes the blocks underneath them. And that won't work because it used everything up. I do that, I'm gonna be missing two blocks. And I will point out that you've got it wrong, as you can see. Uh, this is the one I was playing along with uh, Railbound the first time, but I got way farther through it. I probably shouldn't be doing that with the mic on. This is also the absolute last of my Black Cherry stuff till that order comes in. So 
I'm pretty sure the first thing I have to do is pick something up. It's based on the fact that I have no extra blocks, so I have to avoid accidentally deleting anything. It means all my actions have to be based around that. is this fucker? Because unfortunately its directional input also rotates. If it didn't, it would be really easy. So then I just move this guy down, pretty much. No, not even that. I got it. Hey! There we go. So now we've got swap blocks, which just do this. So one pepper has to go away. Same with pretty much all the egg. But I need to maintain some of the meat. I only have enough meat blocks to, uh, cover the entire puzzle. So I have to make sure I don't accidentally delete them.
I feel like this is the best first move. But then I can't get rice in here. Because I can't delete any of the meat. I can't delete any of the meat and I can't delete any of the rice blocks. And no, you can't take these blocks out without the, uh, the removal item. which means at least one of them has to get deleted by something. I think picking that up is correct, but I have no goddamn idea. Okay, yeah, it was. Oh, and also, also there's a plot. It starts out with a mama cat cooking uh, lunch boxes for her kid. And then her kid uh, grows up and starts also cooking lunch boxes, and he looks uh, dead tired. Apparently, I feel you there, little buddy. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so that's a copy. That one in the top corner, and it copies to everything else. This is gonna be fun. I think what I have to do is copy the egg. Cause I think that's Roald Omelette. I think, no, I think there was another cube that looked like that. I have no idea. It looks like egg or cheese. Hmm. 
Oh, that takes too much out of way. Put this back in first. Oh, that's a weirder swap than I thought it was. Um, It's effectively only three moves and four tactically when you add in the fact that I have to pick this up and put it back down. Mm. I think I have to pick the egg up though. There's no other way to get it into the middle. What to do with this extra rice that's just fucking chilling. So I'm supposed to swap something into that corner to pick up with the egg. No, because nothing's aligned with the egg like that. None of this. I assume this blue stuff is some kind of fish. Because I don't know what else would have that pattern that would be blue. Well, fuck if I could tell you what, what it specifically is. I do I don't know what to do with that extra rice chunk I'm supposed to pick something up now but again don't know how to deal with the egg
Hold on. I think I got it? No, because that leaves me with a, a blank still. Let's skip ahead a bit. It does give me some wiggle room. So, all the achievements are still regarding completing each chapter, so... Eventually have to go back, no matter what. What are these? Are these olives? Possibly... I don't know. The problem is... Rotation of this is kind of awful. Oh, never mind, that was it. Holy shit. We have a double shove. We have a split copy. I mean, is these probably go in last, I'm guessing? Also, I think the copy has to go to the rice. I just noticed we only have two rice blocks. And this probably has to go this way. But then... I'm missing the fish. Yeah, wrong order. I think. Like, this looks correct, but then I can't get this in properly. Maybe? Actually, hold on. Shut down, I think? Aha! Got it. Oh! Man, the copy blocks are being real annoying in this one.
Also, the, uh, the egg is in the wrong spot. That has to go there. That has to go there. Or there. I'm beyond stumped on this one. Ah, you think I'm doing much better? I do this, I don't have enough egg. Also, I... Oops! I didn't mean to back out. I also deleted the rice that was, uh... The fish that was there on top of that. sure those are the removals. I think. They make the most sense to me anyways. The problem is, I have two things that I could do this on, but I think it has to be the olives because there's only one. Which means I have to use this on the egg? But like, So I think the order of operations on the last ones is a uh, place this down, then place the olive down, then copy the olive. Because there has to be a rice block up there. I think this is correct. How the fuck do I get the rice anywhere? Like, I thought I had to do this for the rice. Makes the most sense, but I don't have egg and I don't have olive. Like one of you has to copy and I'm pretty sure it's the olive. It should be that I have to pick up two rice blocks considering how spread out they are. Poor brain. Also, I thought one of my hairs was on the screen for a second. No, it's just a little line in the, the red board here. Duplicate this. 
get everything right. I'm so confused. I like duplicate the olive, but that makes less sense? I don't know. Yeah, no, I think that's actually correct. Hold on. Whoops! I hit the wrong fucking button again. Wait, if I do it this way, hold up. Okay, yeah, there we go. I was just overthinking it. <laughs> Uh, this is incorrect because then how do I get this down there? The fuck did I just do? Oh, I see what it was. I hit I hit right click at the same time as I hit left click, so I rotated and stuck it in the wrong way. I gotta throw out one of the eggs I need. Then again, I guess I could copy it, but I think that places everything else out of order. That lads back out of this one for a bit. <clears throat> so, my guess here is I'm gonna have to copy this.
Okay, okay. Doing that overthinking again thing. <laughs> this has to be placed and then part of it picked up. There's no way to get the fish in the right order without doing something fucking weird. So I think I have to pick something up place this block down and then pick part of it up again. I don't think that was the answer there. I don't know how to place this to pick it up is the problem. I think this was the answer. Short blocks. How do I get the rice there? They all just have to basically be entirely ditched. Oh, what the fuck is... Hmm. How do I do this? Getting close to the pyre is about time to wrap up. I 
think. I, I think I've fried my brain now. Not gonna lie, I think I think my brain's done. <laughs> I should probably upload this, but if I do that, I'm gonna have to cut that giant section where I was doing absolutely nothing and just talking about politics. So this is gonna need some editing. Ah, whatever. Ah, bad. That was a large chunk of time where we just sit around talking about nothing. Yeah, it's fine. But it's like, there's a long, large point in time where we just sat there doing absolutely nothing. Um, so as I said, there's not much to really do on 14 currently. I keep thinking maybe I'll go on and do PvP, but I'm just like, is there anybody even in PvP right now? Because Season 8 didn't actually end. Makes me wonder if people are just in front lines right now, and I don't like half the modes in front lines. Like, I specifically don't like Shatter, because Shatter just sucks. Adding those walls to the center of the map did not improve how Shatter runs. Um, there's nothing for me to do on 14 till Tuesday, when it resets again. At which point we start doing a alliance raid. Um, if I stream tomorrow or Sunday, it's going to be entirely dependent on how I'm feeling. Saturday is usually kind of bust. I tend to be the most exhausted. Um, actually, I don't even know what's going on Sunday. My mom said she was potentially going out to do an escape room with the uh, with her friends. Because we're a small town, but apparently have enough... Uh, Enough space for an escape room set up for some reason. Also, the space they have looks real small. I don't know how they have five rooms set up in there. But she never got back to me on whether or not they set that up, so I have no clue. Um, so I have no idea what the fuck's going on on Sunday. <laughs> It's just, everything's just going to be dependent on how I'm physically feeling any given day. But Tuesday's, Tuesday's the one day I can guarantee there should be a stream. Anyway, that'll be it for me today. My, my poor brain is fried. Anyway. Thanks for coming. I'll see y'all next time.